Hey there. Uh, today we're going to talk about the shooting phase. A lot of people have asked me to do little demos, so here it is. Uh, here we have six guardsmen, one of which is a plasma. They all have rapid fire weapons. That basically means that they can always shoot up to 12 inches out, which is about that far. And they can shoot twice, up to 12 inches out. And Or if they don't move at all, they can shoot once up to 24 inches. And, or the maximum range of the weapon, whatever that may be, because like Tau Fire Warriors have that. Now over here we have three Chaos Warriors, and we also have a Terminator Lord in Terminator armor. So he has a 5 plus invulnerable save, and a 2 plus normal save, and these guys have 3 up saves. So it's a pretty complicated situation. Let's roll. Now what you do is you roll all your weapons at once and you use a different colored dice. The reason is uh, because of the way casualties are removed. When you're firing a unit, you have to determine how many wounds did the whole unit cause. Don't fire this part, then wait for your opponent to move casualties, and then fire this guy. Uh, it's all supposed to be done at once. The key thing you're trying to get to here is how many wounds does this unit inflict on that unit? And then everything else becomes clear. Four ups to hit, remove the things. So the plasma rolled a one. And now to wound, three versus toughness four all around is five ups. So we have one wounding hit. The plasma gets hot. This guy has to roll a save, which he fails. So the plasma gunner managed to kill himself. Uh, so the question is, who here has to take the hit? Uh, what you do is you determine a majority armor save, which in this case is three plus. And those guys take the saves first. So we see that uh, they made their save. Now let's do the same scenario, but with these Dark Reapers. And I think we're going to end up with a considerably bloodier result here. Dark Reapers are heavy 2, strength 5, AP 3. So they get 8 shots. And then we have an Exarch here who's going to use, with his Eldar Missile Launcher, he's going to use the option to do a crack missile. And he's ballistic skill 5, so he needs a 2 up. So Dark Reapers shooting at that unit of chaos. Guys, oh my gosh, it's a slaughter fest! So everything hits. So what we do is, there's, um, they're all the same toughness, toughness 4. So what we do is, this will need a 2 up to wound, and the rest of these will need a... Uh, <coughs> Okay, let's continue that shooting phase. Okay, this is the to wound, so the crack missile wounds. And over here, we needed three ups to wound. So, and th these are just kills with no armor save. Now, the question is, if the Chaos Lord has three wounds, how many wounds does he take? And what if some of these guys hit the Chaos Lord? So here's how that works. The owning player starts by allocating the wounds, one each, to the majority armor type. In this case, it doesn't matter because it goes through. So he could, he could assign the, uh, the uh, crack missile to one of these guys. So the person being hit gets to assign. So you just have to go around, and then once you finish that, you have to take another round. Okay. So this dude, he's good and dead, twice, uh, twice over. Okay. And actually, you know what? A better allocation might be to put this on the Chaos Lord and two of these on this guy. So these guys are all dead, hideously. And then this guy gets a chance. He has an, inv let's see, it's only three. So he gets his two up, actually, against that. So he makes it and he takes no wound. And that is how I believe you uh, do a shooting phase and allocation of uh, um, wounds and armor saves. Now, if you doubt, uh, check page 76 of the rule book, and that will uh, tell you how this rather complicated process goes. But uh, it definitely matters. Uh, the thing for shooting that I would look out for is to make sure your opponent produces all of the wounds on the unit 
before you go ahead and move on to s making your, your saves. So some people will wait for you to peel off the wheat guys and then concentrate those heavy weapons on uh, those juicy independent characters and whatnot. Um, is it on purpose or not? I, I really don't know, but uh, definitely something to keep your mind on. P.S. If you see that I've done something wrong here, then by all means below make a comment and uh, but back it up. Tell us a quote and a page number from the rule book so that we can all get it right. <laughs>